events so let's make a condition if uh, pcon dot particle age is a return the particle age in time uh, value but we need to convert it to frames so dot frame y you can use max uh, script help to, uh, to find uh, how to convert time to frame if uh, the particle edge frame is uh, greater than zero then uh, do the calculation okay now um, okay so that should should work now uh, we finish with Ah, uh, one more thing. We need to enable uh, the channels that we will use. So we used acceleration channel and position channel. So their name uh, and particle age channel. So we'll need to enable th uh, those. Use age, use position, and use acceleration. So let's pick on that. Use age equals true is position equals true equals true ok we finish with this event let's close this now uh, let's uh, create an uh, empty flow this will be uh, our uh, mm, our morph targets so we can rename this more targets. So more targets flow. Okay. Now uh, here we will create a birth operator. First we'll uh, do for torus not. So we'll be uh, we need to set the same same amount of particles as the dynamics particles event so set it to 200 emit uh, start 0 emit stop 0 so basically it will uh, um, start to moving from teapot to uh, torus not from um, frame 0 so let's Connect this. Now we need to to, uh, to add a position object. Okay, add uh, the torus node. Okay, uh, location surface. You may use volume if you want to make some volumetric simulation. Uh, okay, now let's add our um, script operator. Let's rename this to make target. Uh, uh, s there is one problem that may uh, may, um, may appear. It's that uh, particle flow is a little buggy with uh, uh, script operator, and uh, is from time to time it uh, uh, will not be. Uh, those particles if we have a script operator so for this uh, I found a solution uh, we will use the send out operator to send it to another event so uh, we add send out from particle uh, operators to event 01 let's rename this to uh, target torus and send it to this event okay now uh, we have the script we need to edit it okay remove menu, uh, the uh, scri script that we will not use okay. 
so here what you will do is we'll save uh, the uh, position of the particles uh, based on uh, what age to we want to save just once at the beginning of a uh, particle age on the bear so if pick one pick, pick one particle age frame equals zero then uh, PR uh, GR sorry RM of uh, particle index E equals uh, PCOM dot particle position okay now uh, this is how we save the particle position values in global array now we need to enable uh, uh, the channels that you use pcon dot use this page equals true pcon dot use position equals true okay save it close and let's uh, test it okay it's not doing anything maybe we have uh -huh, an error k is undefined t force undefined p mass is undefined so let's clear this and try to move it again Mm -hmm. It's uh, when uh, uh, script operator makes an error, it's disabled it, so you need to uh, resave it or uh, re uh, run it again. So let's see, gr. Let's see if, if it's well defined. Yes, we have particle positions here. So gr is local k local p mass <coughs> global array let's let's see if it will run without this statement okay no error okay doesn't fight. Uh, K is undefined. Let's remove this for a moment. Let's try to make the, those variables global, global, global. But uh, in my test, they work right. Anyway, let's save it. Um, now they are working. Now here is a little 